So what I was asking you earlier is what did you make of the case that House managers presented? I, I know it's unlikely they'll convince enough Republicans, but did they prove their case? I think they did. Um, they had three main things they had to do as a legal matter. The first one is they had to persuade a majority of the Senate that it was constitutional to go forward with the trial. There's ample policy argument and precedent argument for that, and they did win that by a vote of 56 to 44. Second, they had to demonstrate that the remarks that the president made on January 6th uh, caused the events, the riots, the insurrection on Capitol Hill. I think they made a strong case of that. And then the hardest piece is they have to show that the president intended that. So, in fact, uh, I, I agree with Michaela in terms of what they have to do on their defense case. But that's the piece I think they have the best uh, chance to poke a hole in. Although I've got to say it's it's a it's a tough hill to climb. Yeah. I think their strongest case is actually a political one and they're probably going to be successful on it. Yeah. And as far as that hill to climb, they need 67 to convict. So we're talking about 17 Republicans having to cross the aisle. Uh, at best, it looks like maybe six will be able uh, to cross over. But Frederick, I want to stick with you here uh, talking about the defense. Will Will their strategy be a no do no harm strategy cons considering they don't have much of a hill to climb? I think that's very risky because the fact is there are two trials going on. There's the one in the Senate and there's the one in the American public. And so I think they at least have to have an eye on that. I, I'm sure their client has his eye on that. Uh, and so they have to at least try, I think, to make the case that a terrible thing happened on January 6th, but you can't blame it on the president. As I said, I, th I think the managers did a very effective job of making that linkage, but it's the job of the defense to try to poke holes in that linkage. Frederick, if you could just speak specifically to, to the constant constitutionality aspect of it, um, what, what precedent does this set? I think, well, I think the precedent is that in a case in which there are serious allegations of what as the manager, uh, the chief manager, uh, Congressman Rathen said at the very end, ask yourself, if all these things are true, would that constitute an impeachable offense? I think that's what he hopes to leave them with. If there's an impeachable offense right up to the last moment that that president is in office, that impeachment is still the appropriate constitutional response. Yeah. All right. Uh, Michaela Molson, Frederick Lawrence, always good to have you on. We appreciate your insight this morning. Thank you. Thank good to you. be with you.